And actually, this line has been in my family for probably more than 100 years. It was originally purchased by my great grandfather. And then when, when he passed in the, I guess, night, early 1980s, uh, he had two daughters, one obviously my, my grandmother. Uh, but he left the land to the grandsons. And then I guess in 2005, 2006, I started buying some of this land from my uncle. Uh, and then over then, so my goal now is to hopefully one day be able to put all that land back together. That way we can continue to keep it in the family and, and pass it down. Some of it is still in the family, but some of it's outside the family. But, you know, these are friendly neighbors and, you know, have first right of refusal on the, the surrounding land. So hopefully I can get that all put back together at some point. You know, when we first bought this land, we were just using it um, to run livestock, to run cattle, uh, and we didn't live out here. I think at the time we lived in Houston. I had a, my first academic position at, as a professor of molecular medicine at the Institute of Molecular Medicine at UT Medical School in Houston. So we were living in Houston about 25 minutes outside the Texas Medical Center, and my life at that point was getting up at 5.30, driving into Houston, into the medical center before traffic got bad, working, you know, 10, 12, 14 hours a day, and then driving home and always, you know, the hubbub of the, of the city life. And then in, I believe in 2013, our oldest son at the time was going into high school and we didn't want to put him into you know, a public school in a big city. Uh, we were in Cypher ISD. So we thought, let's bring him back and really live the young life, the high school life that we were used to in a small town. Uh, and that's when we started building. We built the house out here in, in 2013. Well, it's an enormous responsibility you know, to tend to several hundred acres of land, couple hundred head of cattle. You know, there's always something to do. If there's fences down, you know, sick cows, sick calves, sick animals, you gotta tend to uh, hay fields to cut. And so, you know, our day starts when the sun comes up. And a lot of times it doesn't end until after the, the sun goes down. But I think, you know, it's, it's responsibility, it's, uh, uh, it's accountability. And so it also, uh, you know, allows the boys to understand really where the food that we eat comes from. You know, most people grew up in cities just think, well, I'll just go to the grocery store and, and buy my vegetables and buy my meat. But you have to understand where that comes from. The whole process of, you know, we're very fortunate because we're able to raise our own beef, grow our own vegetables. So if things go bad, we know we have wild animals, we have plenty of soil, we can plant seeds and crops and really have unlimited access to food, no matter what happens in the world.